this is the property. The Akia property it looks like someone was just living here. Wow. Looks like it's in okay shape from the outside. Let's take a look inside. So, curiosity got the best of me. So I recently took on a literal challenge, Akia every day, the ultimate 30 day house hunting challenge. No spoilers, but this isn't your typical house hunting tale. So hit the subscribe button and find out what happened after 30 days of Akia hunting in Japan. So a little context to how this challenge came about. As an avid runner, I run almost every day. So I wanted to challenge myself to run every single day for a month. And I initially set the goal to run 10 kilometers every day, but that goal quickly changed after the first few runs. It turns out that when I'm not training for a marathon, it's hard for me to keep the motivation to run a certain distance every day. But I didn't give up on that running everyday part. And during my runs, I looked at visibly abandoned Akia houses near me. Before I began this challenge, I had no expectations. I just thought I was going to find a number of Akia footage, but boy, was I wrong. So before I start the new year, 2024, I decided to do a 30 day challenge. I'm gonna run 10 kilometers or about 6.2 miles every single day for the next 30 minutes to see what happens. And also during that time, I'm gonna see how many Akias I can find around my neighborhood. So if I run 10K, that's quite a bit in many different directions. I should be able to find quite a bit. I don't know what to do with that information, but we'll find out. Today's day one, I'm gonna start my run right now. Okay, so here's one Ikea. Visibly empty house. And we'll see how many more we're gonna find. All right, let's go. Day one is a, it's a rainy day. It is cold and rainy. Okay, this is number two Ikea, but there's no sign of anybody living. I mean, look at the grass, the weed, all the doors, windows are shut. All right, let's keep going. Here's Ikea number three in the neighborhood. Just past the nearest station I'm on a pretty busy street. Oh, I think I see number four. Definitely visibly empty. All right, let's keep going. All right, here comes another one. This is number five. Day two of the 30 day challenge. Let's see how today goes. Let's go. Ooh, look at this one. This is a very classic abandoned house Akia and this is on the pretty it's a nice street it's very quiet uh, one inside of a major busy street yeah I would live on this street all right full transparency I'm not gonna make 10k today I got some bad duties to do this morning so I'm heading back I need to make up for this sometime this week but yeah this happens day two of the challenge but I make it work. All right, day three of the 30 day challenge. Uh, it's pretty early right now, but uh, let's see what we find today. Okay, let's go. Okay, here's another one. And, ooh, there's a new house being built right here, but next to it. One very, very abandoned looking house right next to a brand new, newly built house. They're actually still building it. And this street actually has this tiny little alleyway. It's got another empty house, abandoned house right there. So this house, another house looking very abandoned and it's in a pretty prime location in the semi busy street literally only two minutes away from where I'm living right now. Oh my goodness, look at this one. This is also in a pretty prime location and looks extremely 
abandoned. A corner house in the street. The major streets right there. Not too far from a station nearby. Good location. Oh, here's another one. Right next to a very good looking house. A visibly abandoned house on the semi busy street. Another visibly vacant abandoned house. How do I know? In the post, bo post box, there's a tape on it. So they're not accepting any mail, obviously. It looks very, very old and abandoned. In a very quiet neighborhood. And there are some really nice houses on the other side of the street. All right. This is definitely not a residential area, so not really finding any IKEA around here. The landmark tower is behind me. Let's, uh, let's run away from the city center and see, see what I got. All right, it's in this neighborhood. There are clearly some visibly abandoned houses. That's one, and this one is two. Um, Looks like it's been empty for many, many years. And this house right here is in a very good area. And they just built a bunch of new houses across from it. There's one back there as well. Okay, day five of the 30 day challenge. I'm gonna go to uh, ward office because I, I need to do something today. Let's see if I'm gonna find anything. Uh, in that area. Probably not, but we'll see. Okay, let's go. Okay, I think I found the first one for today. It's middle of the day, but it doesn't look like it's got anybody in here. It looks pretty abandoned. It's in a pretty nice street. Great location. All right, day six. Uh, today might not be a 10K run. It's raining and uh, I woke up a little late. But see how much I can do and we'll be fine. Okay, let's go. There's one. There's no sign of people living in this house. Oh, here's probably another one. All right, this is day seven. Finally, I made it through a week. It's a nice day. Don't know if I can run 10K. Uh, my daughter, it's just worth that, so I have to go back for that means. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go to um, a different direction today to see if um, I can find some more empty houses. All right, let's go. Okay, here's one. Visibly abandoned. It's a very nice part of the town close to a major street here, a corner house. Here's another one. Looks almost haunted, like a haunted house. It's, uh, it's right next to a major street and a train light right there. Ah, it's a massive house. It's been abandoned for many, many years, it looks like. Oh, here's another one. Massive, massive gate. Looks pretty abandoned. So this is day eight. So it's been over a week now. I'm actually at my uh, parents' place today. So hopefully we're gonna find some, oh, actually, this is definitely an IKEA. Super, it's a massive land with a huge house inside. It's super abandoned. All right, so that's the first one. Let's see how many more we find today. All right, and the first one, Prime location right next to a convenience store. Here's another one. This is a classic IKEA. Super abandoned. Okay, here's another one. This one says it's on sale. Looks like it's in decent shape. An old house. But right next to a major street right there. And a massive apartment complex, Manchon. Great location. Day nine, let's go. Okay, here's one. Whoa, 
this is the ultimate IKEA. I wonder why it's still vacant. No one's tried to do anything. Maybe they have, but who knows. Here's another one. Good looking house. Ooh, another one. Okay, day 12 for the first one. Here's one. This is, looks like a vacant house in probably the best neighborhood in this area. Ooh, super nice house. I mean, super nice area. Good looking house. Another one. It looks like no one's living here. I uh, could be wrong actually. That looks like an Akia. Well, this one is very likely an Akia. All right, so I've been running every single day for the past 14 days in search of Akia. Just to see how many Akia are around my neighborhood. And today, this is like day 14 or 15. My mentor investor told me that there is an off-market Akia nearby. So what do I do? I'm gonna run there and check it out. Let's go. Okay, I am more than halfway in. I've been running for about 20 minutes now. Running on this uh, pretty big street. It looks like I'm gonna be running up uh, this hill. This looks like an Akia. Anyway, uh, this is uh, a pretty popular word in, within the city of Yokohama. The population is increasing. Uh, that's pretty, quite rare in Japan right now. So to me, that makes sense. You know, buying a house in an area, the population is increasing. So yeah, I could tell there's a lot of homes here. Uh, I see lots of people out already. It's Saturday morning. Yeah, let's see. Let's see how this goes. Okay, I'm still on my way there, but this looks like an abandoned small multifamily. It's got, it looks like it's got two doors, but there's so much going on. Outside, I don't think anyone's living in here or even upstairs. Okay, we're in the hill. There's another Akia. We're almost there, less than 1K to go. Uh, it's coming down on the hill, but we're still high, pretty high up on the hill right now. I am starting to see more and more visibly abandoned houses in this neighborhood. Uh, is that a good sign or not so good sign? And I'm going up this narrow uphill. It's just off of a semi-major street. I saw buses running by, so not too concerned. But we'll see. Oh, and here's a view. All right, I just got here, uh, about to go see the property. Uh, it took me about 34 minutes of running. It wasn't too bad. It looks like it's in a pretty decent neighborhood. It's definitely up on the hill. Let's see, check this out. This is um, a word in Yokohama. Uh, this is a Minami word. One of the more popular words in city, the city of Yokohama. It's a nice view. I believe the station, the nearest station is over there. Oh yeah, I see a train right there. So I think I'm guessing somewhere around there. Okay. This is the house. It's a tiny two-story house overlooking this view. It's a corner house up on the cliff, looks like. So this is the property, the Akia property um, I was looking for. Looks like it's in okay shape from the outside. Let's take a look inside. So this house was built in 1966. 
it looks like it's been abandoned for a while, but nothing has been done to this place. Clearly, it was livable, but it needs a lot of work. It's got a kitchen and one room downstairs and one room upstairs. This is gonna cost a good amount of money to get rid of all the belongings left behind and renovate it to make it rent ready. But the best thing about this house is the location. It's 10 minutes on foot from the station and easy access to Yokohama station. Also, this view. It's a super abandoned house. All right, this is a super abandoned house next to another one and it's literally 30 seconds from the station it is right there all right here is another visibly abandoned house here here's another one it looks like the door is open I don't even want to get in. Here's a whole small apartment that's abandoned. Wow. This one. It's a good looking house. It looks super abandoned. Oh, look at this. A lot happening here. All right, this is day 22, I think. We're going to see another off-market property, off-market Akia nearby. So, I think it's like 3K, it's really close. So I should be, I should get there in like 15 minutes or so. Let's go check it out. Well, I didn't get to see the inside of this place on that day, so I went back to do a walkthrough of this house a few days later. This is an extremely abandoned house in a pretty good neighborhood. I mean, look at the houses around. Nice houses, relatively close to a station, easy access to Yokohama. Okay, so today I'm in Minamiku of Yokohama and it's only like 15, 20 minutes from Yokohama station uh, where I am now. And uh, I'm gonna go see a, an Akia house uh, just in this neighborhood so just up on this hill to see what it looks like yeah see if we're gonna move forward all right let's go check it out so we're here at this akia and it's only been akia for two months it's so it's a freshly abandoned house outside looks pretty nice and it's not too far from the station a uh, really good neighborhood so let's go take a look inside this house was built in 1982 it's in a very good location it's only about two kilometers from yokohama chinatown it has a kitchen, dining room, bathroom, and living room on the ground floor, and two bedrooms upstairs. It needs some work to make it rent ready, but it's not too bad since the previous owner was living here until two months ago. The outside looks pretty good. I don't think this place will have any issue finding a renter. So this is how many Akia I saw during my morning runs in the neighborhood. I'm pretty sure I could have found a lot more, but even in a major city like Yokohama, there are a lot of abandoned houses. So after 30 days, what happened? I actually ended up buying one of these abandoned houses. Which one is it? Well, you'll find out in the future video where I go through the renovation processes. So make sure to hit the subscribe button, but to be fair, I only walked through two of the houses, so your guess is as good as mine. So I declared a goal to buy five properties in Japan in 2024. I didn't plan on closing one in 2023. Well, I'm gonna count this towards my 2024 goal. Can I? Let me know in the comment below. Before we end, I have one more announcement. We're hosting a free live training session on how to buy your first house in Japan in just 90 days without getting a loan. We will share the exact steps we use to buy a property in Japan. It's happening on January 4th, Japan time. We're almost at the capacity, so be sure to save your seat by registering today. The link is below. Thanks for watching and be sure to watch this video next for more and see you in the next one.